Hello YouTube. Hello to you, my fellow metalheads. This is Duke Krishnak reporting in for yet another video. Today, as you might have guessed by not only the title and the description, but from my attire, we're going to be talking about Viking metal. Specifically, my belief of the fact that Viking metal is not an actual genre of music. Um, you're never really going to hear me say that very often. I'm pretty open-minded, right? But my key definition of what a genre of music is, is that it has its own unique sound, first and foremost. There's something that specifically defines the sound of the music that renders it to be recognized as a new, unique genre of music. This can be lyrical content, but generally speaking, what it means in the context of being a musical style is that the instrumentation is a certain way, right? So it has common sounds, common instrumentations that sort of define it as a separate, unique genre of music. It can have lyrical contexts that are commonplace in it, but that does not necessarily determine a genre. And that's going to be my main argument here, people, is that the reason why Viking metal is not a real type of music is the same reasoning that I'm going to also use to say that pirate metal is not a genre of music. Well, on top of that, crabcore is not a genre of music. Okay? So, the main thing that leads me to my belief is simply the fact that you can be considered a Viking metal band and you could be all the way over here and you could be all the way over here in your music. You could just be in the family tree of metal and sing about Viking or Norse mythology, those sort of topics, and people will consider you as a Viking metal band. Okay, now let's say you are the band Deicide. People always have considered you a death metal band, right? Instrumentally, you play death metal music. Vocally, it sounds death metal. Literally, you are playing death metal music, but you sing about Satan all the goddamn time. That does not mean that you are a black metal band. Deicide is not a black metal band. They sing about Satan and their hatred of Christ and this and that, but they play, well, death metal. That is what they are known for, okay? So, that being said, there are a lot of bands that some people call Viking metal. Those Viking metal bands are from any sort of genre within heavy metal, right? There are some bands out there that I did not know that people considered as a Viking metal band. And I just did a quick Wikipedia search. I know, not always the most reliable source of information, but for just a quick search, sure. And it has bands listed such as, well, Burzum. Okay, um, Emperor, would you consider Emperor a Viking metal band? They may have sang some songs about paganism. They also sang some songs about Satanists because, well, they kind of identify as that. They just don't force it down your throat. Does that mean they're not black metal? No. No, you're, you're an idiot if you think that. <sighs> I really was surprised particularly about um, Emperor. That's kind of weird as hell. Enslaved, okay, I could kind of see because of the lyrical content, not musicianally speaking, their instrumentation. 
what people generally associate as Viking metal are bands such as, and I'm sorry if I mispronounce it to some various degree, um, Tyr or Tyr, um, and Thursis. Those are really the only two Viking metal bands that I fairly often listen to. Not like regularly, but from time to time. So, I have nothing against that music. Like I said, I do like some of it here or there. But, it's not a fucking genre of music, okay? Let me, okay, I'm going to stop ranting about that and give more examples about why I don't think it is a legitimate genre of music. Once again, I'm going to read you a thing or two. Not once again, I haven't done it yet. I'm looking at Wikipedia, the first page. Okay. Viking metal is a style of heavy metal music characterized by lyrical and thematic focus on... Norse mythology, Norse paganism, Viking Age, blah, 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 blah. It is quite diverse as a musical style. Hmm? Okay. That's the first sentence. Um, to the point which some people would... Wait. To the point where some consider it more of a cross-genre term than a genre. Okay. Right? There. You have it. If you do a quick Google search, if you type some crap in Wikipedia, it basically says, hey, we're not too sure if it's a genre of music. Okay. Right? So you have people at both ends. So, here's my thing. There are pagan bands out there. Such as Bursum which is why it's listed into the Viking metal under the list of Viking metal things in Wikipedia, because Varg associates himself as pagan, and he has pagan influences in his music. I've never heard anyone call Bursum frickin' Viking metal. It's ridiculous. Are you kidding me? Okay. It's black metal. I've never heard anyone except for the internet, so I don't know why I'm getting worked up about it, but it's trying to reinforce the point. If you listen to, okay, so two of the bands that I had just mentioned. So we have Tyr and we have Thursis. T-U-R-S-I-S. Once again, probably mispronouncing it. So, you listen to them, they have a similar sound. It sounds like kind of heavy metal, uh, some power element, power metal elements, and some folk metal influence. It's kind of unique, right? It's kind of a mishmash of genre. And I could see if the vast majority of Viking metal sounded like that. And I'm sure there are plenty of other bands that sound like that. But my issue with it is the fact that it is not a requirement. Okay, one of the most well-known of the Viking metal bands is Amon Amarth. Amon Amarth, basically, well, a death metal band. Oh my goodness, I think they're more like melodic death metal, but nonetheless. Okay, like I said, the other bands are more like folk and power metal-y and traditional heavy metal, whatever, thrown together. I'm sure there's some more thrashy Viking metal bands out there. There's a lot of black metal bands with folk influences in their music that sing about paganism. Do people normally call them Viking metal? Probably not. They would consider them black metal. So I don't understand why some people will say Amon Amarth is a Viking metal band, but Winder isn't, you know. Their songs are literally in a Norwegian dialect, and they play folk-tinged black metal. People don't go around calling them Viking metal, right? But people go around calling Tia and Tursus and Amon Amarth as Viking metal bands. So, why is it that they are when the black metal bands aren't Viking metal, right? What is it about Amon Amarth that makes them, everyone call them, well, they, you know, call them Viking metal? Well, Two things. One, the lyrical content 
and two, popularity. Okay? So, just like Tyr and Tursus. Okay? They sing about Viking related things, going on raids, religious things related to Odin and Thor, stuff like that, just like a Monomarth. Okay? Well, like I had established, there are other pagan bands out there that are from Norway, Sweden, Finland, really pretty much anywhere there could be a pagan band. But if they focus on that type of cultural history, that does not necessarily mean they are a Viking metal band. Keep in mind, everyone from a Norse area, a Nordic area, is not a Viking. They do not associate themselves with Viking culture, okay? The Vikings were specifically a certain area within those Nordic areas, but people sort of lump them all together, right? If you look into the tr like the tribes and the different clans, there are a bajillion, right? All throughout that area in Sweden and Finland, Norway, Dane, you know, all those areas, the Danish, um, you know, the Jutes, the Saxons, the Angles, the Geats, etc., etc. I'm not going to list a giant list of them. They were all like semi autonomous or completely autonomous nations. Some had different kings over each other. You know, there would be 50 fucking kings in Norway. You know, it's not as unified as that, so I don't think it's fair. Yeah, they will have similar cultures, but not all entirely. I'm going on a historical rant. Sorry. But what I'm trying to say is if someone is singing about cultural heritage of paganism and they are from Germany, well, a lot of the paganism is like similar, similarly tied. They have a lot of similar gods that kind of have their names changed a little bit. Um... I'm not going to go into all the nitty-gritties and list specific examples. You can do that yourself if you want. But is that still Viking metal? No, because you are thinking Germanically. and Celtically has similar related pagan topics and pagan lore and culture. Does that mean you, you know, if you are a, Ger like a German band focusing on Germanic paganism? Okay, yeah, but guess what? Traditionally speaking, a lot of, like, the Nordic people were also considered Germanic people. So when you are singing about Germanic paganism as your main focus of lyrical content, is there any reason to say that the area, you know, around Germany um, is not Viking and the area around, you know, France, and we're talking about the Celts, and, you know, the Irish, and, the, you know, British and English and whatever. A lot of them, you know, have similar but different um, sort of cultural ties, and if you're singing about one sort of type of paganism or another, sometimes the lines are a little bit blurred, just as the lines between actual musical content in what is Viking metal are very much blurred. Now, my quick, like, one-minute tangent, like I'd mentioned earlier, Pirate Metal, exact same stuff, Owlstorm, I'm sure there's probably another band or two. That does not make you an entire new genre of music. You have to have groups of other bands. You cannot have one or two bands out there and just say, okay, now we are an entire genre of music. I heard people talking about Owlstorm as a musical genre for that particular band and said this particular band is pirate metal. Do you know any other pirate metal bands? No. So why would you count them as an entire genre? Do you know if there's any more pirate bands? You know, I'm sure there probably is, but that's the most common one known. I don't know of any other ones. Am I saying there's, there are no other pirate metal, pirate metal bands out there? No, there probably is. I'm not foolish enough or naive to think that. But does a couple bands define a genre? And do they have the exact same... Obviously, every band has a different 
sound to them, but are they very similarly related and instrumentally related, just as a monomarth is the same music as Burzum and uh, Bathory, or, you know, are the, all those freaking bands the same genre, the exact same style of music because of a similar taste in lyrical content? No. Like, the fucking Crabcore thing is literally a bunch of scene kids fucking just playing like this. Like they're teabagging someone that's invisible underneath them and trying to fucking do some yoga and be as fucking ridiculous as they possibly can be. And most of that shit is just within, like, metalcore and post-hardcore and whatnot. But that is not the genre of music. I think it's fucking numb to simply just associate that movement of fucking playing as a fuck. Okay, like my shit, subscribe, whatever, comment, thank you very much, I'm done.